welcome to another edition of 3D Max Tutorials. I am your host, FreeW67, and today I will be showing you how I create a basic track mesh. I will apply the texture to the track mesh, bank it, uh, I'm thinking 5 degrees straight, maybe 12 degree turn, and then I will show you how I create the transition between the 5 and the 12, and then how I create the turns. Uh, I use an FFD 4x4x4 modifier to create the turns and what I plan on doing is I will do start to finish of the whole track here and if you're just interested in the FFD I will cut that out and just place that in a separate video all by itself. So let's get started. As you can see I already have a Google Earth image of a track down. Uh, feels a real track. Uh, obviously, I'd, I'd work my best magic to get the uh, Google Earth measurements uh, for length times width and then try to scale it to as accurate as I possibly can. Because uh, then you can start laying your mesh over the image and have a, a, a more accurate idea of what you're doing. Since we're making a fantasy track here, I decided I knew I wanted it shaped similar to Flat Rock Speedway, but maybe slightly longer straightaways, so I imported Flat Rock slice down the center and just lengthen it just a little bit. So this this track will be slightly bigger than a quarter mile. Alright, so let's create a box. To about 50 by 20. Poly. Select that bottom. Alright, our road texture is 7. So let's set the ID for 7 and drop it on there. Alright, since we want our front straightaway piece to be 5 degrees and we'll say 7 degree banking for the turns or I'm sorry, 12 degree banking for the turns let's rotate that 5 degrees alright, now let's, cl let's clone it go poly, let's clone that Snap it into place. Let's weld. And now let's use FFD 4x4x4x4x4. Alright, source volume's on, all vertices. Let's go to control points. Grab these last two. Let's rotate. We need 7 degrees. Okay, so now if you want your infield to dip down, you know, you're driving in down into the corner, that's how it's set up right now. If you want your infield to be fairly flat at the bottom of the track, what we'll need to do is raise this up some. And then if you can see, that's slightly down. We'll just raise it up a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Let's collapse it. And then as you can see now we have our 5 degree to 12 degree transition piece. Alright, I'll now snap that in this place. I'll use the 4x4 four four again. Uh, what I'll first do is rotate this 90 degrees. And stick it roughly about the center. Alright, then I'll start off with about 70 here. It's going to be plus or minus a few, you know five degrees here and there. A lot of it depends on uh, track shape, track size. But uh, let's just follow maybe the inside line here. Alright, 
So we might need to move that just a little. We'll see. So just a little bit to match that outside wall. That looks good. Good enough. Alright, let's mirror it. <laughs> Alright, so sorry for a little bit of this video is just gonna jump around just a tick. My seven month I was not very happy. Alright, so you know we could probably go back there. Alright, that looks good. Collapse that. I mean that's close enough for now. Let's mirror it. Snap that into place. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, so now with a mirror, you never want to attach another section from, from the mirrored section. Uh, it'll look fine in Max, but when you export it out, it'll actually flip the normals. So what you need to do is select this. Well, make sure this is edible poly. We will attach this piece, and then we will weld it. Okay, so now let's snap this piece back into place. Let's clone it. Center. Let's rotate it 180. Chunk. Rotate that 180 and snap that into place. As you can see, snap is a very nice tool. Okay, so let's attach and let's weld it all. And now, as you can see, we have a 5 degree straight into a 12 degree bank turn track mesh ready to go in game uh, next tutorial on my forum will be the lofting of the walls and texturing them and creating the infield any questions or comments please leave it here or over at my forum over at NSRS and thank you for watching